Talaba is part of the Delivery Hero Network. We are the leading uh, food and groceries uh, delivery company in the, in the Middle East. Uh, we're delivering to nine countries and we have millions of customers every day that are using our services. Our competitive edge is our ability to, to innovate and, and, and deliver uh, great technology for our vendors, riders and of course customers. And we can only do that if we have great understanding of you know, the, the features we, we're delivering and how it's impacting our customers and, and, and all users, right? And if you don't have the right visibility and understanding uh, after you ship features, all the way from you start writing code to shipping features, you cannot really learn and innovate. We had a lot of incidents that would cause lots of problems and pain to our customers and we couldn't always see that happening. We would know that something was wrong because we'd find out from reports like days later, but that feedback loop was just way too big. We were using Neuralic for our application performance monitoring, especially that has been there for a while, but we were using logging with multiple other providers. So the challenge came with correlation, uh, especially when there is an incident happening when, when we are on fire. Uh, we are looking at one system to see how the application is performing, but then sometimes when you have to see the root cause, you may have to go into the other provider. Initially, monitoring was more like kind of a stage where you, you know you ship code and then you just see whether your system is still available and responsive or not. Then you, you move to this ob observability mindset, which is you want to understand how the system is evolving. You want to understand whether you're doing the right things so you're effective, you're, right, you're solving the right problems for the customers and how to feed back that back to the development process so that you can continually uh, evolve your, 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 your systems to do the right things for the customer. In the food delivery business, you have a lot of integration with different systems and backends of the restaurants uh, to make sure that the order goes all the way from our app to their backend system. And by building the right observability across the full stack, we we're able to identify some um, problematic integrations and work with our partners, which ended up uh, cutting down the fill orders by 50%. We have like over 150, 200 services that we're running in production. So it's hard for one person to know exactly how all that works. And this gives us that wider picture now that we can say at a high level, how is the health of our system with all these different services and moving parts. Uh, New Relic helps us shift left by um, having the metrics available in our test environments as well. Um, it allows us to check our changes before they go into production, make sure that we're recording the right metrics, that there aren't any errors that we might see in production itself, um, and also helps us think differently about um, how we build our software by using metrics as a way to validate our changes. We are also experimenting on the service level management uh, from Neuralic because it's, it's pretty obvious we have the SLIs already in Neo Relic, just a matter of time to correlate them and help teams have their insights to uh, work towards not just their infrastructure or the application performance, but also on the key metrics. Suppose as a team, what are the business metrics on which they need to have SLOs on? So there we are able to use given custom events on service level management. So we're just trying to see, explore, and to understand how that can fit our needs and how that can help the teams to translate and to understand what are the objectives that they uh, need to work. The top three things that New Relic help us with, number one, scalability. The second thing was resilience. We, you know, it's, it's a fact that you're gonna fail if you're moving fast. The most important thing is to fail gracefully by having the right resilience mechanisms in place. The third thing is our ability to move fast, experiment and innovate. We are embracing a continuous delivery culture at Talabat. You cannot innovate if you're not learning and you cannot learn if you don't understand uh, how the things you're shipping are, are, are behaving. So you need that ability to instrument, observe and learn to be able to innovate.